that's Ella. She is a German Shepherd Lab mix and she is about seven years old. We adopted her from a shelter and we had lived in Monroe for a couple years in Nakano, but when we moved to this house, we wanted to get an invisible fence. I had grown up in a house that had an invisible fence with a dog my entire life and you know, our dog was able to run, roam around uh, for years. So as soon as we moved to the property within a couple months, we got it and you know, she's been great ever since. She's been able to run around like crazy and stay put. So it's worked out really well. I think probably when I was like seven or eight when my parents had it for our black lab and after they you know got another dog they just kind of kept the system and so ever since then um, it's just kind of been a name that we all knew. She will just want to stay outside all day long and if you're trying to convince her to get in the house the best thing would be another person coming in. She'll put you for treats she won't follow you you can scatter shredded cheese everywhere and she'll be like I'd rather be outside. But if another person comes, she is thrilled. She was already maybe two years old by the time we, we did the fence. And the person that came to do the training, it was clear enough that she kind of knew what her boundaries were. And she heard the beeping a couple times and she kind of got, okay, I, I, I understand where I can go, where I can't go. I think once she started avoiding trying to get into the driveway because we have it crossed through the driveway so she can't run up, once she realized that she has to wait to greet people until they come a little bit closer, that was maybe a little bit more of the aha moment. You know, I had to obviously you know, walk her all the time when, when we lived in the condo. And as much as we like to take her for hikes and everything now, the easiest thing is to just let her outside. You know, we have an acre for her to just run around and dig up everything. And it's immensely helpful, especially at night, the kids are in bed, having to go out and take her for a walk is just not easy. Um, so it's kind of a lifesaver at the moment. And that's the thing is it's been so long that we've had it. It's hard to remember Kind of all the time it took before we used to have to have family come and let her out in the middle of the day they'd have to walk her um, when we lived in a condo and i'll be at work and i know i can check on her i don't work far i'll come back she's just waiting for me in the yard hasn't run away because it's pretty hard to get her inside these days so winter might be a different story but right now the biggest thing is the fact that we're having such a hard time getting her to come inside in the nice weather that it you know rather than being 20 30 minutes late to work trying to coax her to come in I feel confident I can leave her here and she will still be here when I get home. Yeah, I definitely recommend Invisible Fence for others. I mean, it's been a lifesaver for us and um, yeah, I don't know what we'd do without it at this point.